Yeah. I know I said I'd wait, but I, I can't be bothered. Hi, welcome back to... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Alright, so I switched back to the old headset today to keep things classic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, in any case... Uh, welcome to RPG Maps. I'm gonna, This is episode 2 again. Uh, I didn't like the way that episode 2 came out. That was part of my apprehension with continuing the series, as I fucking hated the way episode 2 came out. I don't like that I broke my own uh, my own rule. I was trying to make it a... Uh, it's a let's play of this book, pretty much. And I did not pay attention to that. Uh, in any case, this is part two again. We're doing mountains, forests, rivers, and water. Uh, this time, I'm going to do it more like I had wanted to in the beginning. Uh, Alright, so, this is... Whoa. This looks... <laughs> hilarious. Delete these. Alright, so, here's my old fucking thing. Let's get started. Again. Part 2. Mountains, forests, rivers, and water. All mountains and rugged foothills often dominate fantasy realms of all shapes and sizes. Mountains seem to add a sense of vastness and awe to fantasy world settings and surroundings. Mountains not only serve as physical boundaries between cultures and races, they often form political boundaries as well, dividing various nations and people. Your fantasy map will also need forests. They are an instant area of mystery and wonder that serve as boundaries, obstacles, or refuges for the inhabitants of your world. Forests can range from dense groupings of trees forming an unattained wilderness to small bodies of trees that represent quiet and peaceful woodlands. Geologically, forests are often located in and around mountains due to the immense watery runoff, though anything goes in a fantasy map. Don't be afraid to include haunted woods, sparse or dead trees, or larger-than-life magical woodlands. Bodies of water have a big impact on maps and how they are laid out. Seas are usually massive bodies of water that are larger than lakes, but are still connected to the larger ocean. Rivers are fresh water runoffs from mountains and excessive rainfall that form into paths that flow down into the seas and the ocean. Rivers are one of the most important land features within a map and a country. They can be tricky to place correctly. A good idea to keep in mind for river placement is that water is generally lazy and will take the path of least resistance downhill. Thus, many rivers start as a combination of smaller tributaries that come down out of the tall mountain valleys and hill ranges that are overflowing with melting snow and rainfall. Now, if you got the book, you can follow along. Peaks. For step one, we're going to lay out our mountain range. Need to move ton of shit off of my desk so I can fucking breathe. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, l step one, lay out a mountain range. To start, take your pencil and lightly draw lines where you'd like your mountain ranges to be. These guiding lines are useful for you to follow and allow you an idea of where your mountains will get grouped. Once you are happy with the general placement, move on to the next step. So, um, I talked about this in the other video. It's going to look like this. It's going to be that, 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 and this is Z. This is X, and then this is Y. So this is your height, and this is your width, and this is your length. So your mountain isn't going to just be like a dot on the map. It's going to be kind of, it's going to be in space. It's going to go like this, and then you're going to have hills that come off of it like that. But I'm already explaining too much. It's not a tutorial. This is a walkthrough, so let's get started. Let's pull our mountain range. Uh, since there's a thing here, thing here, thing in here, I'm going to make my mountain range kind of, snake oops snake along this way like so alright yeah why not that sounds good to me step two draw a mountain take your HB pencil and slowly draw your first mountain shape making an upside down V or a W try this try to draw this first mountain in the middle part of the initial sketch line so I'm gonna bring a line up to this and then back down like that that is my first mountain. Okay. I'm going to do that on a new layer. Because that's what I did last time. Bring this on up and then back down like that. I don't like that. I don't want to make it lazy. Rolling down a mountain. Rolling on down. Great. So now I just have to fill out this entire line with uh, mountains. Little peaks and shit. Ba -da -da -da. And uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a mountain. They don't do this very often. They don't have these little 
fucking weird gaps in it. They usually come to a peak and go like this because they are eroded down by water. You do have cliffs and peaks though, so if you've got one that goes like this, it comes down like that, sure, why not? You know? But, um, they will get bigger and smaller in some parts. Da da da. Da da da. It's a nasty, gnarled, crooked peak. Check that shit out. And at the end of the line, it's going to get, you know, a little smaller. So, I'm going to pop this one off. That's my mountain range. Looks like shit, but. Hey, man. This is only like my third map, I think, ever. And also, I just kind of suck at drawing anyway. But, at least I'll know how. And then I can get a job drawing maps. Uh, at that map store. Worked for Google drawing their maps like this. Okay, so that's my mountain range. It's, um, I don't know, it's good enough to kind of give you the impression of what's happening. But I, I would not say that it's good. Alright, and the mountains obviously don't. They're not just like, hey, look at my mountain, and then it's flat land everywhere. Mountains kind of have, you know, hills and other mountains rolling off of them, too. Which is what step three is about. Now that your first mountain's complete, it's time to give them some friends and add a whole mountain chain. Wait, I just did that. Uh, four is to remove the guideline. I also did that. Step five, define your mountains. Give them some swoops. Step five. Once your basic mountain chain has been completed, it's time to flesh them out and give them some definition. Take your pencil and draw thin lines that run down each side of the mountain, which each mountain having five to ten lines each. Do this for the rest of your mountains and watch how they come to life. I really don't, uh, I don't, kind of don't get this, but we'll fucking, whatever. And it, remember, this is what it looks like in the book. This dude's just like drawing fucking hairs coming down the mountains like this. They look kind of like uh, hairy nipples to me. Uh, my friend had uh, commented on that, actually, how my hills look like hills of nipples. <laughs> I can't unsee that. But here are my hairy nipple mountains. I guess this is to kind of like define, because the mountains are not smooth ridges in the hills. They are... Uh, rocks that get pushed together until they break through the fucking surface of the the earth so I guess this makes sense I think my problem is I have way too much smoothing on this uh, on my brush right now but who knows alright moving all around like that Linkin Park song. Uh, da, 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 da. Great. I will uh, eventually take time to understand and develop this skill, but for now, uh, time is of the essence. And <laughs> who knows, dude? I uh, sure as fuck don't know what's going on. Great. There's my nipple mountain range. Looks like a bunch of hairy tits. Fuck yeah. Alright. Finish your mountain range. Oh, that was that step two. I don't know why he put that in two steps. Uh, add rolling hills. Add your first hill. I'm not going to lie. These look kind of goofy. But it's in the book. So step one. Add your first hill. Next to the bottom. Next to the bottom of one of your mountains. Take your pencil and draw a small upside down U. So, like, a rolly one like that. And step two, draw a few more upside-down U's at the mountain's lower edges and continue this all along the mountain range. Okay. I mean, I guess this makes sense. Mountains, like I just said, don't end in, in nothing. So now I'm giving these uh, mountains. You know, anybody ever meet someone with fucking super hairy nipples? They've got, like, um, these little bumps right around their nips. And tons of hair is growing out of them. I'd like to thank you again for pointing that out to me. To see something that I will never unsee. Uh, I had lost the book, and it was just sitting underneath a safe I have in my room. Just sitting in there. And I was like, yo, 
Where the fuck? Why is this under there? But number three, form hill ranges. Uh, once your hills at the bottom of the mountains are drawn in, feel free to draw more hills extending off of your existing hills. Oh, feel free. That takes a lot of pressure off me because I kind of don't want to, but I mean I will. These are hills that extend out from the more mountainous high ground, forming hill ranges of their own. Not all hills have to extend off of the mountains. Feel free to add these hills wherever you see fit. Having a group of hills is best arranged into relative lines. Try to take, try to make shapes with your hills, forming C's and S's for varieties. Okay. So, take these hills and kind of roll little hills off of them. Yeah, his this guy's hills look way fucking better than mine do. Oh man, there's a there's a thing on the next page that says alternative mountains and uh they don't look like nipples. Ah shit, why didn't you put that up front? Now I drew a fucking dumbass nipple mountain range and the the whole the fucking other thing he drew, they're like the mountains, right? You draw your little line and then you got your hills coming up and shit like that. And then from these hills, you've got your fucking, um, there's like a third wall that goes out like this. And then you just draw those slashing things on one side of the mountains. Like this. Uh, <laughs> bad example. That was rough and stupid, but, like, they look so much better. I'll do it next time. Next time. Till then, I'm just gonna draw these little fucking hair follicles out of these nipple hills. It kind of looks like, uh, I, I don't know, a bunch of birds. <laughs> yep. These look awful. Alright. <laughs> Step four, define your hills. Once you've finished laying them out, go back in and add a few small lines to each of them. Oh, my God. Okay. He wants me to do this again. All of his lines don't go to the top. They they kind of... In the book, they look like... um look like he draped a cloth over something really bumpy. So they've just got like the tall, permanent shape, and then the wrinkles on the side of them. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Great. Cool. Fuck. <laughs> Can I zoom in? Will this make it better or worse? That's way worse. I don't know if you see that a little bumping around. My mouse keeps flinging over there. I really don't know what that is, but uh, I have an inkling that it is something to do with the drivers I've got not being super compatible with Windows 10. This tablet is Wacom Bamboo Fun. It is model CTH460. In any case, it's old as fuck, and uh, it does some really dumb shit most of the time like this. Can you see that? Windows touch, or touch on and off. I can move it like a touch screen, and it doesn't really work. It's uh, super cool at um, auto farming in um, Minecraft. I remember using it that way as a kid. I put something like warm on it, and it just kept clicking over and over again. I realized that. I can use it to farm shit in Minecraft really well if I just held something on my W key. Uh, just for fun, uh, after I'm done this, I'm going to try to do this on a piece of paper just to see if I like the results any better. <laughs> I'm getting so fucking lazy.
Alright. Fuck you. That's my, uh, blunk-ass little mountain range. There you go. Define your hills. Complete the ranges. Did, did, did. Six. Add character. If you're feeling adventurous, get creative and add troll holes and other openings and paths around your hills and shit. Um, I'm not really feeling very inspired by any of those proposed examples, but for the sake of, uh, the video, let's add a trail that goes up into this mountain. And, uh, it'll make it so it wraps around the mountain this way. Here we go. Now I got a trail that comes up and twirls around this mountain. Hey. Okay. There we go. So that's what step six is. If you're feeling adventurous, add a little troll holes and stuff. Okay. All right. And then the alternate mountains thing that he put right there instead of uh, at the beginning of the mountains thing for that step. I don't know why, but hey, man. Fuck it, like. Okay. I'm going to end this here at the mountains. Uh, I'm going to uh, record woods and forests right now, but it's going to be a different video. So we'll see you then.